we're interested in finding uh, new and better treatments for neurodevelopmental disorders. Now, these are conditions uh, like autism, schizophrenia, um, epilepsy, uh, intellectual disability that share something in common, which is that uh, in most cases, the symptoms begin um, in early childhood, sometimes even in infancy. And therefore, uh, it makes us think that uh, the difference is something that occurs in the brain during development. We start with a specific symptom. We may start with uh, sensory hypersensitivity or with seizures or with a learning um, disability. Once we identify the brain region involved and we find the differences, then we can intervene and hopefully that will ameliorate the symptoms of the disease. This is an exciting time in neuroscience because we have lots of cool toys like fancy microscopes. And these are really the state of the art um, techniques to record activity from the brain directly. We're very excited about a new avenue of research in our lab where uh, by recording from neurons in the brain, we identified that a particular subtype of neuron, an inhibitory neuron. So these are neurons that actually put the brakes on activity in the brain. And so we have found that these inhibitory cells are hypoactive, that they don't fire as much. And that could explain why, for example, these um, conditions are commonly associated with seizures because the brakes of activity are less active. And so then it's almost like the accelerator is on all the time. Because we identified this, then we looked for other ways that we can boost the activity of these inhibitory cells. And in fact, there are uh, medications, drugs that can be given. And so we use this drug to boost the activity of these inhibitory cells. And not only did it restore the activity of the entire network to the control level, but it also helped the symptoms of sensory hypersensitivity. I think when a new child arrives in a family, um, one of the biggest worries is, you know, is this, you know, child going to develop a neurodevelopmental condition that is going to affect how they integrate in society, how they go to school, how they learn. Um, so it's very important because right now there are no treatments for these conditions. We're interested in, in really intervening in those really troublesome symptoms that, um, that just, you know, make it more difficult for these children to um, integrate with their peers, even within their families.